Hello guys, Guru here. If you're new to the channel or enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more top-notch podcast reviews of your favorite series. Peace. What's up, people? This is Guru. Come at you again with another video. Today's topic, true life story. This is the second part to These Hoes Ain't Loyal. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I will have it at the end of the video, man. So check it out if you haven't seen the first part. Yo, so let's get into this one. Oh yeah, if y'all not into uh, adult talk, adult situations, uh, sexuality, this isn't a video for you. So uh, I'll see you next True Life Story or whatever, what podcast, whatever you like to listen to. Uh, that's a little disclaimer. So let's get into this True Life Story. All right. So I'll tell you what happened with the chick, man. You know, we had the little moment in the car and everything, uh, Smash City and everything. So, flash forward a couple of uh, no, we gonna do a we gonna do a a flashback then a flash forward. Okay, about a year prior to that, uh, from the first part of the story, I was hanging out with my cousins, man. Uh, as y'all know, I have two. I have a couple of cousins. We grew up like brothers, man. We we're tight, tight. And um, one day we were chilling. It was near high school time. It was like after school and um. We picked up a couple of chicks, you know. I was driving, and uh, my two younger cousins were with me. And um, there's some girls, man. I only had two, man. So I ended up being an odd man out. But you know, like I said, he's like my brothers, man. So it is what it is. So I wouldn't pick. We picked the chicks up, man. I got the car loaded down. Back then, I had this uh, this old, this old Camaro, man. So I picked them up, you know. And um, we went, we hung out at the house and stuff, man. After school one day. Uh, nothing happened. Just a little meet and greet, talking shit, you know, having fun. Kids just chilling, teenagers. And um, so time goes by, man. That just that was just a situation. I, it was a, psh, nothing, you know. So then, flash forward like two years later, you know, my cousin he had went into the army and he had did his little um, what you want to call it? When you do the little basic training and you get to go home for a little while before they send you off to wherever they're gonna send you at. So he came back home and uh, he was like, yo, man, uh, you meeting the chicks, you know, what's going on, man? Tell me, you know, cause you know, he been out, you know, out the loop for a few months now, man. So I was like, nah, you know, so I told him a story about what happened with old girl in part of one of the story, true life story. He said, yeah, word, 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 you know, I said, man, this sound dope. You know what I'm saying? We laughing, having a good time and stuff, man. So um, I slipped up and I told her the girl name. He said, yeah, you know what, man? Back in the day, man, that, that girl we used to hang out with, I never got to hit that thing. She had the same name. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I thought about it. I said, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. And y'all remember in the first story, I told y'all my spotty sense was tingling about this girl. And that's what it was. I met her before. She was the girl we picked up that day after school and we all hung out at the house together. That my own cousin was trying to holler to. I laughed. I was like, yo, I just put them together. Like, I didn't realize it because I only seen her one time, you know, and that was that day. And like a couple of years had passed. I didn't really think about it. I was like, damn. And he's like, yo, cuz he, and he told me, he said, man, he, um, so he told me her last name. I said, yo, man, that's her, man. He said, yeah, her, she go to bit, uh, she go to college. What was it, the college? She go to Blue Blue College. I was like, yes. I was like, yo. So he was like, yo, because he said, man, you screwed my chick, right? So we laughing and stuff off. He said, man, you know, cuz you still got the number. And I was like, yeah, man, I got it, man. Uh, so, hey, pass cuz on the number. Hey, you know, it is what it is. So he uh, a couple of days later he calls a girl up. They meet up and stuff and like cause they knew each other way better than we did well. <laughs> Not intimately as far as we knew each other, but they knew each other friendship wise uh, way better. So they start kicking it off, man. He picked her up. Same day he took picked her up, he smashes, right? <laughs> in the car. In his car. <laughs> and he called me, I was like, yo, man, you were right, man. So I was like, yo, this is crazy, dog. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Those are the days, man, being young and dumb, man. I don't think I was like, yo, she get it up that easy and stuff, man. So, um, yeah, man, that was a wild story, man. I know this is going to be a short true life story, man, but for that to happen 
And I was like, yo, I felt like uh, R. Kelly Usher, you know, same girls. <laughs> Uh, that was crazy. I didn't put two and two together, man. But like, um, and after that, man, uh, sad story. My uh, that same cousin, he uh, he passed away. Uh, he had a he had a heart condition that we didn't know about, and uh, he um he had uh, died young too, man. He was like in his uh, he might have been twenty twenty one. So it really shocked the family up. So we didn't know, you know, we didn't know. And the weird thing was, he went to the army and all them tests and the stuff they do, they should have known that he had some kind of heart condition, but they say they didn't know. And uh, he just passed away. His heart just, uh, he had a massive heart attack at that young, man. So, yeah. So, everybody get your physicals, man. Get your heart checked, man. You never know, man. You could be a ticking time bomb. So, I actually spoke with her because she actually, <laughs> the same chick actually, uh, I had to talk about that. I had to talk about this, right? Um, she actually worked at this local grocery store and I just happened to be, um, after he passed away, um, I don't know how I bumped into her, man. I just happened to, and I just saw her. I was like, whoa, she working there. She was a cashier. I was like, damn, you know, cause it was kind of outside of where I stay at. It was like kind of downtownish. So and I was like, yo, so I told her what happened and she's like, oh, I know somebody told me, you know, he, um, he died and stuff. She actually went to the funeral and everything. Um, she feel sorry and stuff like that, man. I, 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 was, I had her number, but I never would call her. And uh, I bumped to her again one day going to work. <laughs> and she told me she worked at and everything. So I went by and saw her one day. She was like, uh, this time she was working at some kind of clothing store. So I stopped by, hollered at her for a minute, man. And uh, now, guess what? Boom, 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 boom. She had a baby. So, <laughs> so. It didn't look good on her because she was kind of she's a little bit thicker, you know. Um, so, but you know, she started showing a little wear and tear of you know her being a single mother and living the life she was living. Because I'm pretty sure uh, she saw many other guys other than me and my cousins. So after that situation, especially after years have passed by, so uh, I never I never really mess with her again. I just we really lost contact and. Right now, I probably couldn't tell who she is now if I seen her. It's been so long ago. But yeah, man. Uh, that was the end of this true life story. These hoes ain't low part two, whatever you want to call it, man. Uh, uh, tell me what y'all thought in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share and all that good stuff. Uh, catch y'all with another one of these. If I can think of another interesting story. <laughs> this is the Guru. Holla at y'all fellas later. Peace.